And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 1st of April, 2022. It's the birthday of the novelist Francine Prose, born Brooklyn, 1947. Her parents were both doctors. Her father once let her watch an autopsy at Bellevue Hospital in New York City. Went off to college and afterward tried working on an autobiographical novel, didn't go anywhere, and then her boyfriend won a fellowship to travel abroad and she persuaded him to take her to Bombay. And when she was living there, she started to read Proust and Dostoevsky and Isak Dennison, which inspired her to write Judah the Pious, a novel based on Hasidic folklore about a rabbi who tries to convince the king of Poland to reinstate Jewish burial rituals, which got great reviews, and Francine Prose decided that travel was the key to writing good fiction, spent the next several years living out of a suitcase, hitchhiking to Mexico, working on her novels, went on to publish many strange and fantastical books such as Hungry Hearts, about a star of the Yiddish theater who becomes possessed Possessed by one of her roles, and Bigfoot Dreams, about a reporter for a tabloid newspaper who invents a story that comes true. It's the birthday of the composer and pianist Sergei Rachmaninoff, born in Novgorod, Russia, in 1873. Escaped just before the Russian Revolution, spent most of the rest of his life in the United States. When he met the pianist Vladimir Horovitz, the two pianists sealed their friendship by going down into the basement of Steinway and Sons on 57th Street in New York and playing Rachmaninoff's third piano concerto. Horovitz playing the solo part on one piano, Rachmaninoff the orchestral reduction. It's also the birthday of playwright Edmund Rostan, born in Marseille, France, 1868, author of Cyrano de Bergerac, based on an actual person. In the play, Cyrano is the most brave and romantic man in France, but he also has the largest nose that anyone has ever seen, and because of that, he decides he can never win over Roxanne, the love of his life. It's the birthday of Wangari Muta Matai, born in Kenya, 1940, who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004 for her work on sustainable development. She was the first environmentalist and the first African woman to win the Peace Prize, the author of a number of books, including a memoir, Unbowed. April Fool's Day, a holiday for the celebration of practical jokes, one of the best played by The Guardian in London, 1977, which published on April 1st a seven-page supplement commemorating the anniversary of the independence of San Serif, a completely imaginary small island nation in the Indian Ocean, the nation consisting of two main islands, which together form the shape of a semicolon. The northern one was called uppercase and the southern one lowercase. The day it ran, the Guardian was flooded with calls for more information, including calls from travel agents and airline companies. And on this day in 1992, NPR announced that Richard Nixon was running for president again and had a fake soundbite of Mr. Nixon saying, I didn't do anything wrong and I won't do it again. Here's a poem for today by Kirsten Dierking, entitled Lucky. All this time, the life you were supposed to live has been rising around you like the walls of a house designed with warm, harmonious lines, as if you had actually planned it that way as if you had stacked up bricks at random and built, by mistake, a lucky star. Lucky, poem by Kirsten Dierking, from Northern Oracle, published by Spout Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. Keep in touch.